Hi, I'm Gavin Henning, Professor of Higher Education at New England College and President for the Council for the Advancement of Standards in Higher Education, or CAS. In this mini lecture, I'm going to talk a little bit about the CAS learning domains and dimensions and how you can use CAS to foster student learning in your programs and services. First of all, student learning is central to CAS self-assessment. A lot of people think we're just looking at program evaluation, program assessment, understanding how effective a program is, but really the ultimate goal for CAS um, guidelines and CAS um, standards are really student learning and development. And so really all of that program work that we, that's being done, all the assessment work that's being done should really be centered towards and focused on student learning and development. There are six um, student learning uh, and development of outcome domains um, that are part of the general standards. So they're already built into the general standards. Um, we ask um, departments and programs to think through what are the most appropriate for theirs, but really it's student learning is central to that process. There's a stated expectation in the general standards that all functional area programs should place some emphasis on relevant learning outcomes. And obviously that changes depending on standards. So I think the learning that's fostered in um, housing and residence life is very different than dining services. But every program and service should be focusing on student learning or talking about how they can support student learning. Those, domain, uh, those uh, outcome domains are knowledge acquisition, construction, integration, and application, cognitive complexity, intrapersonal development, interpersonal competence, humanitarianism and civic engagement, and practical competence. And as you'll see, there's actually um, a wide variety of other um, frameworks that are very similar to the CAS frameworks. And as you notice, there's a really close alignment between the CAS learning and development domains and learning reconsidered, um, the LEAP essential outcomes. Um, the degree qualification profile, and this last column is actually Project CEO, which are a set, a set of um, learning outcomes from employers and what they want to see. And so really you can see the overlap and the connection and the mapping between um, the CAS learning domains as well as other uh, competency frameworks. And so really, as we mentioned, uh, student learning development is at the center and the core of the work. And so really the, the expectation is that programs and services promote student learning and development and identify the relevant and desirable learning out and development outcomes in each of those functional areas as well as the extent to which that learning should be fostered. Um, obviously assessment um, is a key piece of it so not only the fostering of student learning but also the assessment of it and then evidence of the impact and so really how do you evidence um, that the students are learning? You can say that they're learning, you can provide opportunities for learning but there needs to be evidence that learning has actually happened. And the programs really need to you know, clearly articulate how they contribute to student learning and support. This could be directly or could be indirectly, but that connection to student learning should be clear um, as folks are going through this uh, CAS self-study process. And creating um, uh, intentional outcomes is really the goal of programs and services. So we don't want this to happen haphazardly. We think of Aston's IEO um, process where um, really the, the program or service is the environment which has an impact on the inputs that students are bringing for some desired outcome. Um, functional areas are those programs, those environments that have an impact. And so we really need to think through how do the program service intentionally foster these student learning uh, and development outcomes and building and designing those programs around that and obviously assessing the extent to which that learning is happening or the desired learning is happening. The Faldos is a book that came out in 2006. Um, it was actually developed as a resource for um, assessing the, the student learning outcomes. Now the Faldos, you know, actually it's kind of out hanging out there, but we're in the process of revising it. Um, the Faldos was actually based on the previous set of CAS learning domains and dimensions where there are 16 domains. We revised those in 2008, 2009. So now we've got a team of experts that are revising a, a, this document and actually creating a resource, a new resource that can be used for assessing um, the learning domains and dimensions for CAS. Uh, so pay attention to that. We'll probably be coming out with that next fall. Um, so it's gonna take a little time to pull that all together. But we are working on this and other resources to help you with that assessment process of student learning. 
The 10th edition of the book is coming out in spring 2019, so, so hang out for that, pay attention for that. There'll be a lot of cool other resources in addition to the 19th or the 10th edition of the book came, coming out in 2019. There are a number of ways to get connected with CAS. Um, we have user groups on Facebook. We have a group for two-year college professionals, a group for four-year college professionals. Just uh, search on Facebook for CAS um, user groups and these should pop up. You can also follow CAS on Facebook so you can learn about um, what, what's new, what's up, um, up and coming, what are the new resources out there. Also follow us on Twitter to learn what's coming up. And then you also check out our YouTube channel. We have a lot of resources out there for you to, um, to help you use the CAS standards. You can always visit us at cas.edu. Um, we have a resource center there which has a lot of great tools. Um, some other helpful resources are the ninth edition, so that would be great until um, you purchase your 10th edition of the book. And the self-assessment guides are really the key element to using the CAS standards for assessment. The standards themselves provide that outline and those guidance for what the program should do, but the self-assessment guide is that worksheet that helps you work through all of those, um, those standards. So those are a critical element for assessment. If your uh, Campus Labs member campus, program review is built into some of the tools, so you can actually do that through the Campus Labs portal. Um, so check that out if you've not done that already. So hopefully the resources are helpful. Think about how you can use your programs and services to foster student learning and development. And check out cast.edu if you have any questions.